Hello, <laughs> people. My name is Robert, and in this honest flow desk review, I'll tell you what I like and dislike about this email marketing software and give you a quick demo around the platform. And you will see why it's probably the best tool for any visual person. So let's start with the pros. First of all, Flowdesk is so easy to use. It's, it's really a pleasure. Everything is clear and simple. I think in terms of usability, this one is one of the best tools for beginners. They've really stripped it down to the basics, so you will have a short learning curve. Email settings are not just boring toggles, but easy to understand questions. And don't worry, despite this, they have pretty much all the core features that an email marketing software should have, like automation workflows and possibility to create forms and landing pages. The workflows have enough features to get you started. For example, you can automatically send people a PDF file if they sign up to your email list. Trigger workflows based on clicks in the specific email and create some basic logic around this. Second, Flowdesk has very beautiful templates for your emails and forms. You can just add your text and images, then flip through the different layouts and see what yours will look like. The layouts are quite different in terms of style uh, from the competition. I think a lot of them look professional and some even cute. So what about Flowdesk pricing? Well, that's actually the third advantage of using Flowdesk because it comes with a flat price. So it doesn't matter if you have 10, 10 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers, you pay the same price, which is right now $38 per month. But if you use my link or coupon code below in the description, you can get the plan for $19 a month for the first year. If you compare that with the prices of the competition, you would be better off using ConvertKit or MailChimp when starting out as they have free plans. But as soon as you go over 1500 subscribers, that flat fee from Flowdesk is very appealing and you get all the features. With other platforms, you have different tiers which means some features are only available in more expensive plans. Oh yeah, by the way, I know this shouldn't matter in this day and age, but the founders of this tool are women. And I think it's awesome because we should have more women in, as tech founders and in tech world in general. If you're unsure if Flowdesk is the right tool for you, then take my interactive quiz to find out the best email marketing software for your needs. The link will be in the description. I've researched 16 tools and I'll give you my recommendations based on your answers. Now, despite so many perks, this tool also comes with some drawbacks. First of all, for advanced users, I think the tool is a bit too limiting. The email and form builders have fewer customization options than some of the competition and the automation is limited to basic actions. So if you want to build some clever automation flows, uh, that might not be possible with Flowdesk. They also lack features like A-B testing and advanced reporting dashboards. Active Campaign is another email marketing tool which is best known for its superior automation flows. You can see it on here on the screen. For a more in-depth review of Active Campaign, you can find a link in the description. The second drawback is that you can't sell anything directly from Flowdesk. So you would have to use your website or other platforms for sales. In contrast, a lot of other email marketing software providers enable you to create landing pages and sell directly from there. Some even enable you to monetize the email itself. So people have to pay you to receive your email. If this is a must have feature for you, then check out my ConvertKit review right here. ConvertKit has all the features I just mentioned. And the third drawback of Flowdesk is that it's not really e-commerce compatible. I mean, you can connect it to Shopify or to WooCommerce, but you don't have any web shop features like displaying your products automatically in the email or sending people an email when they abandon their shopping cart. Pretty much all you can do is just add buyers from your Shopify to different segments and send them an email based on that. But that's pretty much it. So here I am in my Flowdesk dashboard and you can see there's kind of four main uh, tabs here. You have the emails, forms, workflows, which is the auto automation flows and audience where you can control your subscribers. But if we dive into emails, so if you create a new email, everything is just very visual. You can see here some templates you can uh, choose from. So let's say if I really like, uh, I want to create a welcome email, then I can click here on the filter and see what kind of 
uh, things they had to start with. So let's say I want this one. I click on it. I can check here if I like it and check it on mobile as well. And then if I click on for customize, it just jumps into the email. And here I'm able to update everything. For example, if I don't like this, I can just delete it. And then uh, if I want to update this text, I just click on it and remove this one and I can start typing hello. And this is how you change the text. And same thing with the images. You just click on the image, upload your image there. Let's say I have it here, something like this. And it's really intuitive in that sense. So you and what if I don't like this layout? Well, I can go to layout and now I can choose some of these templates. So let's say I actually want something like this. Uh, it changes with my image already here. Um, maybe I want a quote. Well, there you go. It doesn't work for this one. So I'll go keep it to the previous one. And uh, you can also just add many different uh, layouts here. So for example, what if I want a video? No problem. You can just add it here or uh, maybe some images from Instagram, it's possible buttons and other elements like social icons. And what's cool about it, what, what I haven't seen before is how they handle this part. This is usually just some boring settings that you set, but here you can just actually answer a few questions like, hey, who, who's this email coming from? So then you type in your name. This is already in my settings, so you don't need to type it every time. Then if you go to uh, continue, you have other questions here. Okay, subject line, maybe preview text, continue. And you can see, you can just choose who you send this to. And that's pretty much it. It's super straightforward in that sense. And same thing goes for the forms where you can collect the emails from people. So let's say I already have here something that I've created. I can go in and start updating things here. And you would place this on your website and that way you can collect emails and start sending out emails to people. This works exactly the same way as the email builder. Uh, I think there's a bit less layouts here than the, in the previous one. Uh, if we go back to choose templates, you can see here three different types of um, forms pop up inline and full page. And you can just choose here a template, the one that you like and just go with that. Same thing with workflows. If we take a look and there's not too many features as mentioned, there are, but I think for most people, this is more than enough. So you can see, I can create some automation here. So once somebody is added to the segment, welcome sequence, then we send out this email to them with a button where they can actually just download an ebook. It's a, just a PDF that they can download. And then we wait for three days. And if subscriber has clicked on a link, then we go into this flow and if they haven't clicked on the link so basically this button here in this email if they haven't clicked on it then we we send a reminder email where we just say basically hey i uh, noticed that you didn't open previous email maybe you missed it so here's the book again from there you can go on but for example if they did click on the link then we start just sending out welcome sequence to them uh, maybe it's an email with useful tips or maybe you just introduce yourself a bit more and we do that for a few times, wait for a few days. And then at the end here, we can say, okay, once we're done with this flow, just make sure to move this uh, person to another segment and remove the person from the welcome sequence uh, segment because, yeah, we just want to treat them differently. And to get started with Flowdesk, just check out this tutorial right here where I'll show you how to get started with Flowdesk, send your first email, collect email with a form and set up simple email workflows that will automatically send a free PDF file when people sign up to your newsletter.